What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. A lot of you may be wondering, Nick, what's going on with the channel, the saltwater pond, and the rest of the animals? And that is exactly why I'm making this video today. So to start from the beginning, a lot of you may know, a lot of you may not know, about six months ago, I uploaded a video explaining my future plans, my future ideas, and what I wanted to do with the content and all the animals. That video is popping up right here. If you haven't seen it, go back to it, watch it. It will definitely explain everything in detail. I'm also gonna mention it in this video later on, but that right there is a dedicated video to those plans. So that was six months ago, and since then, I've had my house up for sale, and recently, it just sold. This is a very strange feeling for me because I'm very excited but I'm also like very sad at the same time. I'm excited because one, I can start this new journey, this new chapter, and it's something I've really, really wanted to do. It's just been a big process to take those steps to do it. The reason I'm sad is obviously it took a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of time and money put into this house, into these fish. I literally bought that house so I can have the saltwater pond there along with living. I told you guys I would not give them to somebody where they would downgrade homes, I would only upgrade their home. And that is what I'm going to be doing. These fish have been a huge part of the channel. Pretty much all the animals, they are what got me started. I started with a 100 gallon aquarium and bought Bumblebee Grouper when he was this big. And from that point on, that was about four years ago, he just kept getting bigger, 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 and we had to upgrade his home. And now we're here at a 6,000 gallon saltwater pond where we have a crazy crazy saltwater fish collection they're not only going to be staying with each other but you guys are going to be able to continue seeing them watching them whenever you want so a lot of you guys know brian barcheck he's pretty much a goat on youtube he's been doing youtube for 10 plus years he's got a bunch of businesses set up all around animals and yeah he's just a goat and he's actually building pretty much like a fish zoo with giant aquariums ranging from like 200 gallons all the way up to like 40,000 gallons. And that is where these fish are gonna be going. I'm so stoked that this is able to happen because not only are we gonna be able to go back and film them whenever we want, but Brian's gonna film them. You guys are gonna be able to see them. Even film his place because I'm sure he's gonna have some other crazy stuff there. But the beauty is, these fish are gonna be able to grow even bigger and bigger and maybe even live the rest of their life there at Brian's facility. My only way of rehoming these fish was if they got a better home and Brian came in and he's got a crazy home for them. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Now, as far as the rest of the animals, starting with our leopard geckos, I brought them to a good friend of mine along with our red-eyed tree frogs. He's a big reptile guy. He's been doing reptiles, especially leopard geckos, even breeding them for years now. As far as our axolotas, I brought them to a great pet store. A buddy of mine actually owns it, and he told me we'll hold them here. We'll find a great home for them. Whoever comes in, will evaluate them, and then that's where they'll go. So I trust him. I know he'll definitely pick out a good person for those axolotls to go to. Our chameleon, Ralph, he actually went to our buddy, Gio. He's got the craziest enclosures. Ralph is actually in a mansion right now. He's looking great. Here's some updates of how he's looking. Our green tree python, our buddy, Tyler Nolan, he took our green tree python in, and I already know he's gonna be living a great life as well. And our exotic Mata Mata turtle, who we've had for about three years now, he's gonna Gonna be getting an amazing home at Paul Cafaro's house. A lot of you guys know Paul. A lot of you guys subscribe to Paul. So you'll continue seeing our Mata Mata Turtle over there on his channel. Now you're probably wondering, Nick, what are you gonna do with all the fish in the backyard pond? I've thought about that over the last couple of weeks a lot. And after talking with the new owner of the house, we both came up with the decision to leave them in the pond. The new owner moving into the property has kids and they absolutely love fish. So I told them I would leave them all the fish in the pond. That way it's stocked for them. They can feed the fish whenever they want. And that pond is pretty much like an ecosystem at this point. The Paku feed on all the vegetation. Same with the little brim and stuff. And then the bigger fish eat the bait fish that keep reproducing. So those fish really don't need to be taken care of. It's almost like a fish out in the wild at that point. But I did inform them that there is a ton of fish in there. So that all worked out. I was going to take all the fish out and pretty much insane net the whole pond, get everything out of there and then relocate them but that pond is so big, it's 20 feet deep. And the reason it's that deep is because they used all the foundation to build up the house so that it wouldn't get flooded ever. Now, as far as our wonder puss, Willie, I did see a lot of comments asking about him. Unfortunately, Willie did escape. He escaped months ago and I meant to make a video on it. At the time, I was just not in the best state of mind. I was going through some personal things and I, oh my gosh, I'm, it is hot out here. I was going through some personal things 
and I just wasn't in that mindset to even pick up a camera and talk to it. I was more concerned about my animals and just personal things going on at that moment. So hopefully you guys can understand that. Unfortunately, Willie did escape. Now he was in the garage and there was a lot of other tanks, even the saltwater pond that had no top on it completely. So I'm almost thinking Willie escaped out of his tank. Mind you, we did fully, I thought so, fully octopus. I thought we fully octopus proved that aquarium, but I guess not. Octopus are one of the smartest creatures out there. And what I'm thinking is he found a little crevice. He's escaped out because that's what they do i've heard stories of an octopus leaving his aquarium going to another aquarium eating the fish out of that aquarium and then going back to his aquarium they're that smart so he could have got a little adventurous willie the wonder puss very very cool octopus um definitely would get one again once i figure out an aquarium that they cannot escape out of and then as far as the fish from the 200 gallon i'm going to be moving them into a 100 gallon for the meantime actually in the 100 gallon right now all doing fine and healthy now i do have another animal he's not a fish he's not a reptile but he's a dog and his name is meatball i adopted him when he was eight months old and since then i have completely created a bond with this dog He's like my best friend. I absolutely love him. And Meatball is 100% coming with me. So when we do do this traveling, I have family members that will watch Meatball and, you know, make sure he's good for that time being. Again, a very strange, weird feeling for me. It's sad getting rid of everything and giving up an old chapter. And truthfully, there was a lot of ideals and things I never really got to do due to me falling into this, like, depressed state and, uh just not there mentally but at the same time i'm so excited for this next chapter like i mean i just this is something i've been wanting to do for the past year now and i feel so ready to do it and with the support of you guys every single one of you i can't thank you enough i wouldn't have been able to do it on my own so truthfully from my heart to you guys thank you every single one of you i cannot wait for this new content traveling the world tide pulling in other countries diving fishing catching exotic creatures creatures we've never even caught before it's gonna be crazy i just i don't even know what to say but i'm so excited i just can't wait to share it with you guys so if you're not already definitely make sure you strap in for this new journey now i know some of you are going to be upset and i completely understand but i just want you to know if i could have done everything to keep the house live my life travel and do everything i ever wanted i would do it in a heartbeat but at the same time, I have to be realistic here. I'm 22 years young and I have my whole life ahead of me if I ever wanted to go back and redo this. You know, traveling and all that, once you get a bunch of responsibilities, it's very hard to do. And with me still being somewhat young, I wanna try to get that all out of the way along with sharing it with you guys and making the best content possible. So with all that being said, in the next couple of days, we're gonna be taking down the saltwater pond and transferring the fish to a temporary quarantine pond to quarantine them and get them ready for their new home at Brian Barchek's place. If you wanna see a lot of behind the scenes updates, make sure you follow me right here on Instagram at Nick Bingo. I post a lot of stuff in my story just throughout the day of what I'm doing and a lot of little updates you wouldn't see on YouTube. With that being said, I hope most of you understand. If you do, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I'm not gonna just stop here. I'm gonna go 10 times harder and I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to have the best content on YouTube and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!